What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I, this is not going to be uploaded on my schedule time, but I had to get a video on this out as fast as possible because it was definitely important to get this out fast because it's like the new update. So I want to get this out as fast as possible for a lot of people. Um, so basically, this is how to get the, um, the sink fruit and how to get the different accessories and how to awaken it. So I'm going, I'm flying over to the island right now where you can actually awaken the sink fruit and I'll show you precisely how to. This is a public server so it's not going to be as in depth as I would want it to be but I do have to get this over with fast um, because I got stuff going on. So it should be somewhere behind here, it's to the right of Marine Ford. so if you find Ruin Marine Ford in the third sea it should be to the right of that. Yeah, so it should be over here. There it is. Okay, so this is Elegia, I think is how you say it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's, you can say it, it's pronounced Elegia, right? As you can see, Elegia Island. So, um, basically what you're going to want to do is the sink fruit you just get by rolling. Like if I look up sing right here, you'll see I have two sink fruits. I just rolled at the merchant and I got the two sink fruits, right? It, sh it might take a little while because it's decently rare but that is how you get the sink fruit now right here is where Uda spawns right Uda's gonna spawn right here she has um half red hair half white hair and she's gonna spawn right here and you're gonna kill her and she's gonna give you a five percent drop chance for um the sheet music so if i look up sheet right here you can see i have sheet music this is the leftover from when i was farming for it uh it did take me three days to farm all the sheet music and to get the awakening and all the accessories so, really quickly, I'm going to show you guys the accessories that you can get from the drop. Um, by the way, you use the sheet music right over there. I'll show, you, I'll show you that in one second. But let me turn visible accessories on. So, here's the first drop. You have the headphones right here. You have the diva wings right here. The, the um, one white wing, the one pink wing. And then you have her, um, her coat right here. Now, it is kind of obstructed by the stone gauntlets, but I think that all the accessories look pretty cool, in my opinion. I really like the accessories, even if they aren't girls' accessories. I do think they look pretty good. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to actually spawn in a, a Top Musica. So, basically, with the sheet music, you can spawn Top Musica, and it will spawn right there. It's this big boss, and you kill it for, like, I think it's a 10% drop chance. Everything it drops is a 10% drop chance, the headphones, the wings, the coat, and the scroll to actually awaken it. And I believe it's just called an awakening scroll. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn it in. Let me heal up for that, though. And I'm going to set up my sing fruit. So this could be like a little showcase, but I'm just going to show you guys how to kill it real quick. So that's also what the boss looks like, but this is just awakened sing fruit. So, I'm going to go ahead and spawn the boss, and it will use one of my sheet music. So, you're going to want to talk to this guy right here after you get the sheet music drop from Uda. You're going to talk to this guy. He's going to say that you summon Top Musica, and it'll spawn one right there. Yeah, see, there it is. That's the actual boss. So, I'm going to use all my moves. I do believe Awaken Sing is, like, the second best fruit in the game, if I'm not mistaken. So, I should get this over with pretty fast. There we go. Okay, so you can see I killed it, right? So, it is a really strong boss. I want you to keep that in mind. The boss is really strong. If I were to have, um, uh, if I were to make a guess, I would say it has like 10 uh, billion HP because it did take multiple like full rounds of attacks from Quake V3. So it is a really strong boss. Just keep that in mind. You might need to be like almost max stats just to beat that boss solo. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and kill that boss, and it should be around, I'm pretty sure it's a 10% drop chance for everything. I used the Clover title to actually get the um, the sheet music from Uta, but when I killed the top music of boss, which you spawned with the sheet music, I did use the King of the Beast title to kill it. So, that should be a pretty good showcase of how to get everything. I'm going to go ahead and reset to go back onto the Blacksmith Island, and I'll do a showcase of the moves and it'll also be a damage showcase i'll do unawaken and awaken form of sing um okay so let me put on my buffs real quick these are going to be the best fruit buffs i have the best fruit accessories 
and the best buffs for fruit. So I put on all my buffs. As you can see, if I go to the blacksmith right here, and I equip Sing Fruit, you can see it's maxed out, so it does the most damage it can. So I'm going to go ahead. It's pretty much like with the unawakened form, it's basically operation. So you're going to press Q, and it'll be in Uda's world. As you can see, there's this little uh, thing in the middle, and then you have this thing around you, right? So the first move is Fleeting Lullaby. Quick music thing like that, 100 million damage. Um, you have Notes of the Damned right here. 146 billion da million damage, my fault, not billion, million. You have Requiem right here, 157 million damage. And Musical Warrior, 129 million damage, which follows you around, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and use that again. I do think that move is pretty cool. I like that move. So now with the Awakened form, if you guys know how Soul Fruit can has a stationary move, and it'll just sort of park its, um, it'll sort of just park the two, like, Soul things like wherever you're standing it's basically the same thing wherever you're standing when you press y to use the awakening it'll spawn in this giant boss right here which does look exactly like the boss you can actually spawn in with the sheet music and it's honestly a really cool and detailed boss in my opinion it looks exactly like it does in the movie i watched the movie like right after the update came out and it looks exactly like the movie and i really think they did a great job on this so i'm going to go ahead and do a showcase so if i unequip the sink fruit and reequip it you can see all my moves change the first one's pummel 727 million damage, so it just goes up and then slams down. You have Beaming Light, sort of makes a shockwave off of someone, everyone in the area to be exact, 838 million damage. You have Notes of the Damned, which is the same thing as the other one, cause sort of a big explosion forward, does a billion and 20, a billion 28 million damage. You have the King's Roar, which is the strongest attack, I believe, 1.453 billion damage that roar move right there and musical warrior is exactly the same but it is buffed in damage as you can see 724 794 million damage so i think this might be the best fruit it could be the second best one in my opinion but just keep in mind it is going to take a couple days to farm for this if you're unlucky but that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one